Let's look at example number two. We have 5x squared minus 40x is equal to 15. In order for us to use the quadratic formula, we have to make sure that we have the standard form on the left hand side, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero in order for this to work. So this 15 is not going to be the c. We will actually need to subtract 15 on both sides to bring this to the left hand side first. So let's do that. Minus 15 here, cancel this out, and I'll also put minus 15 on the left hand side. Then I see I will have 5x squared minus 40x and then minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay? So now we can technically use the quadratic formula already. That's the a, and b is negative 40, and c is negative 15. But then I noticed that 5, 40, and 15. All these numbers are divisible of 5. So, why not? Let's divide by 5 on all these three terms. So they cancel. And in this case, I'm not trying to purposely make the um, x squared uh, by itself. I'm just trying to reduce so that we can work with smaller numbers. That's why I choose to divide by 5. Okay, I get x squared minus 8x and negative 15 divided by 5. It's minus 3, it's equal to 0. Okay? So now I can use the quadratic formula on this. Pay attention to what we have in front of the x squared. We don't have anything visible, but that means we have a 1 in front of it. a is equal to 1. b is equal to the number in front of the x, which is the negative 8. The negative 8. And c is equal to negative 3. So we got our a, b, and c. We can use the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Oops, should I make this in red? 4ac. Everything on the top over 2 times a. Like this. Okay? Well, the more we write down the quadratic, the more times we write down the quadratic formula, the better that we can remember it. So that's why you know, I'd rather um, show you guys, you know, write it down again. Anyways, I can take this out. So I can just focus on this. So to work this out, I see I have negative b. I will put negative for the b. I will open the parentheses, and b is negative 8. I'll put the negative 8 in there. And continue with the formula, I have the plus minus, square root, I see the b squared, I see the b again. Open the parentheses and then put in negative 8. Square minus 4 times a, so open the parentheses, a in this case is equal to 1. And then open the parentheses for c, c in this case is equal to negative 3. Then make the square root longer. Everything on the top over 2 times a, Open the parentheses for a, a is equal to 1. Just like that. So now we are just going to focus on this. And this is again nothing but just calculations, nothing but just the order of operations. Here we have negative. This negative is from the formula. And another negative because b is equal to negative 8. b is equal to negative 8. So then negative times negative 8, we get positive 8. And then we have plus minus square root and inside again that's worked out what the inside is equal to we have negative a square minus 4 times 1 times negative 3 this is 64 4 times 3 is 12 but uh, negative times negative becomes positive so we have uh, plus 12 and that will be 76 okay so I can put in a 76 in here, everything on the top over 2. So, so far so good, right? So far so good. But then I will have to take a look of the square root of 76. Square root of 76. Is it possible for us to simplify square root of 76? And the answer to that is yes, I think so. Square root of 76. Notice that 76, it's equal to 4 times 19 and we can break down 76 into a perfect square times something else right I'm going to write this as square root of 4 
times square root of 19. Okay? But then, square root of 4, we know that it's equal to the ninth number 2. However, for square root of 19, that's the simplest that we can get. So it will be just square root of 19, which we have just 2 square root of 19. We'll change this, we're plugging this into that. Okay? Then, I get 8 plus minus 2 square root of 19 over uh, that 2. So this becomes 2 square root of 19. So I have this, 8 plus or minus square root of uh, 19 over 2. Uh, actually, we can simplify this furthermore. And the way I like to show uh, my students on how to simplify this is this. Since I have two things on the top and then just um, over two on the denominator, one way to simplify this is to write it as a over two, and then bring down the plus minus, and then bring down two, square root of 19, and then over two. So it's kind of like I'm just separating the two fractions. Then notice that a over two, we can reduce this. This is one, this is four. So this is just 4, right? And for this part, the 2's are both outside. These 2 are both outside. So I can cancel them. I can reduce them. So I will just get 4 plus minus square root of 19. So x is equal to positive 4 plus square root of 19. Or the second case is that x can, use, can also equal to 4 minus square root of 19. And maybe I'll also show you another way to simplify that. Okay, so this is this is done. But I would like to show you a different way to simplify this. Pay attention to the top. I have the number 8 and the number 2. They are both outside of the square root. And I can factor out the 2 on the top. So I can write that as 2. And let me just kind of divide this out. Okay, I mean just like separating this two part out. So I factor out 2, so 8, you factor out 2, we get 4 inside, plus minus, 2 square root of eight, uh, 19, the 2 is out already, so we just have square root of 19, over 2. Then once we get to this, I can reduce this 2 and that 2, I can cancel them out. We cannot just cancel the 2 and the 2 out like this, we have to make sure that this 2 we can only cancel out factors, okay? So if you just cross out the 2 and 2 right there, or if you just um, cross out this 2 and that 2 right there without doing anything else, that would be incorrect. So here, after we factor out the 2, and then this 2 and that 2 cancel out, we get 4 plus minus square root of 19. Same as how we did it over here, okay? So now real and quick, let me use the calculator and go over like how to solve this on the calculator again. So turn on the calculator, we want to go to mode, number 5 for the equations. And we are, do, uh, we are doing ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we are going to choose number 3. So hit number 3. It's asking us uh, for the value of a, b, and c. And that's the ones that we wrote down right here, right? So a is equal to 1, equal b is negative 8. 8 and c is negative 3 just like this and just equal and as we can see that x1 is equal to uh, 4 plus square root of 19 and that's exactly what we have right one of the answer is 4 plus square root of 19 the other one you press it down you press the down button x2 the second uh, solution is 4 minus square root of 19 okay and just as a reminder Go back to mode and number one. That's how you get back to the normal um, calculator mode. And this is how you do this question.